so hello all welcome back to part 3 of this game so this is a really good game a good story game you all know what's it what is it and uh, let's start with the part 3 video let's try to finish this game soon oh there you are 7 o'clock i thought you said oh fashionably late <laughs> Said I got you some tea. Oh, great idea! Thank you. Uh, sugar for you? Yes, two for me, please. Okay. Oh my goodness, you're soaked. Where's your jacket? Oh, uh, well, not on me, of course. Um, mind on other things. The paper again? Still all-consuming. I can handle it. Oh, I don't blame you. I've been thinking about it quite a bit too. Uh, you have Ab about my paper. Yes. To tell you the truth, I'm rather stuck. I gathered. Could you finish it for me, do you think? I thought you could handle it. Uh, I can, I can. It's a it's a beautiful idea. I think that's why it stuck with me. It means a lot that it did. It would be like <laughs> having a superpower, being able to predict the paths of the clouds. <laughs> a next step, control the weather. <laughs> you could be cloud man. Are you taking this seriously? <laughs> well, you could predict when it's going to rain at least. <laughs> this weather reminds me of home. Was it this miserable all the time? No, although Edinburgh always looked better in the rain to me, so that's why I choose to remember it. That's where you grew up, isn't it? That's right. I had a wee cottage in the Highlands too. Our parents would take us up there once in a while. Us, brothers and sisters. One brother, older. Are you all right? Yes. Sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to pry. It's just um, he was killed in a motorcycle accident near the cottage when he was uh, 18. Oh, so sorry. That's not your fault. It's life, or well, the opposite. <clears throat> How old were you when it happened? Uh, 16. Still, I have a lot of happy memories about him. At the cottage, he always used to get up early, go out into the forest, bring back armloads of wood, wood for the fire. It was sweet, really. The house was already warm for us. A real man, even at that age. <laughs> I fancy myself doing that, actually. So you could be the woodsman then. Oh, better than the cloud man. Stronger. Oh no, I I, I like cloud man. So, these clouds, your beautiful subject. What do you think you need? Oh well, that's simple. More readings this to work with. This thing is long. This is going really long. Well, in know? theory, <laughs> yes, but they need to be first-hand, verifiable. All right. I take it it all has to be taken somewhere where the readings aren't affected by other factors. Sounds like you've got it as much as I have. Maybe. The thing is, it needs to be somewhere very remote, and I need to be there for a while. You see, to get enough readings. Mm, that makes sense. And I suppose the university budget doesn't exactly allow you to travel the world. Maybe. What? Well, that cottage I mentioned—it's in the middle of nowhere, a highest place for miles around. And now would be the time to go with summer coming up. All summer free. Well, I'd have to check with my father, but. It's remote. It's just a little place in the woods with a log fire and not much else. But if that's what you're looking for, I am. That's just the kind of place I've been searching for. Promise me you're serious about this. Oh, I promise you that. Mm, promise me that. That was again no a choice. No more past tense. We made. No more past tense, eh? Hmm. Sorry, I didn't know how I felt about the cottage and. Until I started talking about it, I shouldn't have said anything. We don't have to go. 
Thanks for understanding. Oh, but still, it sounds perfect for the work. I think I'd be able to find somewhere else, you know. I must be able to. It's just... I don't know what my father would say about me bringing an unmarried man up there. Well, if you're worried about your father, we don't need to go. No, no, I'm not worried about him. It's just not exactly Morden. Not exactly ringing the changes like Moll's. Without her father even knows what she's up to. You should have seen Moll's on that march, striding forward in front. Shame he didn't come. Quite the force of nature. Do you think the bus would make it there? The bus? That would cost a fortune. Not that bus, silly. <laughs> you know, your bus. Ding ding. Oh, oh, the mighty steed, of course. Well, the roads are pretty rough. Would you cope with it? I can always try. So it's almost time to switch the transition. Careful, we want to make it in one piece. We do. So blue means something good. I didn't so suggest the route. Red means Just something negative. keep driving. I know Just it to seems to go on forever. Just okay. trust me. The cottage is only a few miles away now. I'm excited to see it. Mm, me too. I haven't been here in so long. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know. I, I don't quite know if things will feel different coming back. I hope you like it. Oh, I'm sure I will. I just feel like a movie is going on. <laughs> Don't you? Just let me know in the comments. And and thank you for asking your father. I know this is a big thing. <laughs> well, I told him I was taking a friend. I didn't mention you were a man. Oh, uh, do, you, do you think he'd disapprove? Not exactly, no. Well... He is very old-fashioned, but... Well, thank you for coming along. Well, in, in, inviting me and coming along. Oh, no. I mean, without me, who would you find it for a start? I couldn't rightly let you run away all by yourself. So you're running away with me? Stop it. This is purely professional, isn't it? We could run away. Ditch the paper. Live in the woods. You are being presumptuous, aren't you? No, I'm here to help. You'll need help with the equipment and recording all the data, all that. I couldn't leave you stranded up here in the middle of nowhere. I'd build us a shelter, be the man of the woods. Oh, he's back, is he? The woodsman. I'm telling you, I could do that. Just be the kind of man who remembers to fill up the tank when we're off to the middle of nowhere. Well, I am. I hope this isn't a big mistake. in the time. To find the right station, I guess. This is the BBC. Here is the news. The talks in Washington over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty were in deadlock last night, with Soviet Russia threatening to walk out of discussions early. The new president, Lyndon B. Johnson, made an impassioned speech during which he criticized the Soviets' aggressive stance and reasserted the need for compromise. The president described the Russians as playing a lethal hand and asserted that continuing to do so would risk leading the world into war. Uh-oh, there's something bad. Let's see how they react. What is next? What is next to come? Another transition coming up. I think we will be back in the snow in the Antarctica to the original sea. Hold anyway to accelerate. I don't know where we are going. Let's see what's there. Do 
let me know in the comments do you like this game how is it i mean it's certainly different from other games you know it's very simple it's just pure story you have to take some decisions that's it but it's it's still interesting he is yet to find some help for his friend who is still in the plane if you have not seen that video go and watch the part 1 you know from where we started this is so via base so are we going to see some enemies around here Father's on his way up. Said he'd like a word too. Such a big boy now. What happened today? It's not your fault. I just want you to know that. These boys, well, I bet they're just trying to make you feel small because they're feeling small inside. Don't you listen to them, all right? All right. Here he is. You sleep well. What do you say we carry on with making that rabbit hutch tomorrow, eh? That'd be nice. <clears throat> Still awake? He is. No more tears, eh? No, no, he's he's settled. Go on. It's all right. We'll be fine. Well, if you're sure <laughs> Good night, Pete. Night. Oh, Peter. What are we going to do with you? Your mother won't like me saying this. but it's true you've got to learn to stand up for yourself next time you hit them back you hear me an eye for an eye that's what i've always said but as still if you see it coming you get in there first I know it sounds hard. But life's hard. hard. Best to learn that now rather than later, eh? Right? And how many of you agree with this? not another peep all right the boy see you in the morning no more tears Well, 
sounded like that. Mm. Well, I know you're listening. It's like you don't care. Of course I bloody care. That's what I'm doing. Making sure he can take care of himself. You think I like seeing him like this? No, it's just... No, of course not. You're too bloody soft of him. That's the problem. That's how he got here in the first place. I won't have my son mollycoddled. If that's what you think I'm doing, I'm sorry. Well, you don't sound sorry. What are you up to now? I can't understand whether you don't try things. I'll get them to you what But anyway, I'm sure this son will understand. Who? He just a victim. No, that woman. Good gracious, look at me, Billy. Next door. I'm going to see her about it anyway. You are not. Leave me. Did you hear? I said you are not going to see her. Don't make such a fuss. I don't know why you think it's such a bad idea when you barely know her anyway. I know it's a bad idea, and so should you. These boys have to know what they're doing is wrong. They need to get their comeuppance. I'm not going to come up if it's going to come from her. You've got to hurt, it'll get to everyone. Not even weak. You'll make it worse for him. If you're talking about comeuppance, he should be the one dealing it out. It's not like that, Rach. He likes his books. He likes taking care of things. Oh, old kids don't like that. They just grow out of it. He'll grow soft. He just hasn't learned yet, that's all. I learned it. My father taught me. And now it's my job as a father. Well, my job as a mother is to be careful, my son. Boys need discipline, I Boys! Know. Boys, who are these boys? Every boy? I'm talking about Pete. He is disciplined. Look at how he's waiting. Oh, yeah, well, we're not proud of that one. Get them in a scout. Do his national service. Get them sent not to do it. Well, then you look, you won't need national service by the time he's old enough. I know you feel he should out during the war. Don't point that on him. Wait. Wait. Miss out. Miss out how? I did my bit in the ARP. If I got through the physical, I would have got in. You know that. Well, if that's not you like you again, as always. Don't you dare! You know I did my bit! Yes, please, you're shouting. He's going to sleep. I wasn't saying you didn't do anything. I know perfectly well what you were trying to do. Get your upper hand again. I won't have it. In my house and all. My house too, Reg. And you should be bloody thankful for it too. I am, but Reg, just calm down, stop it. I work bloody hard with this family. And all I got bringing anything in, the least I ask for is a little respect. Where are you going? I'm his father. I'm the one who decides how to bring up a son. Fred, it's cold now. Where are you going? Out! The pub! Wow, that was good, really good. I mean, the way it goes back in past, really awesome. It's time to go back, go up there and check this building too. So we sure, I'm optimistic that we'll find something up here let's see what is there for us something here to check ah. what nothing damn kettle's hot that's all watch out hmm You alright? What's that? Oh, yes. I've got the tea on. Ah, oh, water's boiling. Hope there's enough. Well, don't worry about me. Just make sure you have what you need. So you don't want any tea? Look, it's fine. Nothing. Nothing will come of nothing. Come in, Clara. Do you read me? Look, I'm sorry about last night. I... I didn't mean for you to have to sleep on the sofa. Oh, 
Oh, don't mention it. It's a it's a very comfy sofa. Oh, um I'm glad. I thought you'd be annoyed. It's not the same for us, is it? What what do you mean? I know what, what most of them in Cambridge are like. They can take home whoever they like and they can tell all their friends about it afterwards. Like they just get a slap on the back and a well done old chap for us is it's different. If you don't keep quiet about it like Molly doesn't, then you're a girl with a reputation. Alright, look, it's it's early. I'll get us some breakfast in a bit, shall I? That sounds nice. It didn't have anything to do with you, that's what I mean. I see, just men in general. <laughs> All right, I'm generalizing, it's just... I suppose I've had friends at school, um, girlfriends, who play into this whole thing too, the whole parade of it. They didn't understand my interest in science. They thought I was a bit weird. Well... Their loss. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just in an odd frame of mind. I thought the work might help keep my head straight. Maybe a walk would help you. No, no, I, I like it. I'm enjoying it, really. I want this to be good. That's one thing I definitely got from my father. It's perfectionism, for better or worse. Hard to live up to. Well, it's good to be ambitious. And <laughs> what's this if it's not ambitious? Speaking of which, there's something I noticed. Show me. I've just looked at the latest batch of atmospheric radiation readings. Don't worry, everything seems to be moving in ways we're expecting. It's it's all consistent. It's just, it's just consistently higher, too, compared to the ones we took a few months ago. He's got new equipment, maybe? That would explain why everything's jumped at once. Well, I'll double check everything again now. It's just something I've noticed as I glanced over them. It'll be good for me to focus on something like this anyway. I'll get my head down. Just take care of yourself. Oh, don't worry about me. Look, why don't you look around? There's plenty of books to read. Oh. Why not? If you're sure. So yeah, there was a good conversation, you know. Dear Ma, happy Mothering Sunday. Sorry the card's in such a state. Clara wanted to make it. Dear Ma, Robbie. So there are a bunch of things. So this is a happy Mother's Day card. Okay. Yep. <laughs> what should we read? Where should we go? This is the same bookstore, okay. Let's check out something else. Foundation Engineering Science. So that's pretty yeah, technical book. Should we read it? I don't know how to read. We can just read these titles. So we can come here and you know check these things. There's something else paper Robbie how long do we need to stay quiet pa said said sit here until dinner's ready when will it is we ready I don't know 10 20 minutes so these are kind of notes hmm. something else we can do let's go back again to the shelf and try to read something Something is here. What is this? Not clear. Okay. Things are written over here. Oh, these are heights. Oh, okay. So these are the markings on the wall for heights. I guess this is the last thing to check in the room. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, that whole thing. Feel free to put something on. Sorry, there's not a lot of choice. 
We didn't own much music. Is this one alright? Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. I hope we'll not get copyright on this song. <laughs> You're right. I can't concentrate. Where's that tea? Are you all right? Ooh, that, that, my it, hand. It's hot. I said it was hot. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Hold it up gently. What are you doing? Helping. Putting something on this bandage. What? Honey. Honey? It helps, trust me. Yes, that helps. That definitely helps. Yeah, show me your hand. Oh, that's silly of me. There goes the tea. Is there something else, Clara? No, it's it's silly. Come on, I'm I'm sure it's not. It's been a long time and I I should be over it by now. That's my brother. I dreamt about him last night. I see. You, you thought you might feel odd here, didn't you? Yeah, but it's strange. I, I feel guilty too. You don't need to feel guilty. I've been forgetting him. That, that doesn't make you guilty of anything. And now I'm here again and here he is. And everything I look at. You don't need to stay. If it's too difficult. No, uh, I'm happy I came. I should have done it sooner. I'm not imposed all this on you. It makes me wonder if I'd be where I am today if he was still around. You know, Cambridge, the whole thing. Does that make me a terrible person? No, no, but I... I don't think I'd follow. You'd have been successful no matter what, wouldn't you? I love my father, you know. Your father? What's he got to do with it? I owe him everything. My interest in physics, engineering, maths, everything. He take me to all the museums, make little experiments with me in the shed. He was an engineer, you see. But when I was still little, before he could really let me play with anything. My brother got all that attention. And when he died, it all came to me. His passions. Uh, they all became mine. You were doing great things with them too. Mm, thank you. I just wonder sometimes whether he'd be showing an interest in a girl if my brother hadn't, you know, I just, would I have just been forgotten? No, no, I'm sure not. And the worst of it is sometimes I feel, oh, it's, it's horrible, I can't even see it. No, come on, don't worry, say what? Sometimes I feel grateful it happened, otherwise I wouldn't have got this chance, isn't that awful? You would have been fine. I know you would. There. That should hold it. Thank you. Here. Do you think you could manage to hold on to me? Is this the moment? Okay, I guess we should stop today's game here. There are so many things. It was really good, you know, today's story, I, I was deeply involved in it. It was really good. So much of it coming to the, going to the future. I, I, I think we didn't go to the future. Going to the past, coming back to the present. There were two different pasts. One is in childhood and one you know in the woods so yeah overall story is really good i'm really enjoying it do let me know in the comments if you like the video press the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new here thank you for watching till then take care